Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here with our Worlds Part 1 playthrough. Again, this is the cheating version of it. We're going to be doing some glitching. We're going to be doing some duplicating. We're going to just not play fair. <laughs> it's the whole point. The point is, is that, yes, you can go through the playthrough in order to get from beginning to end. And I do recommend it. I've done it several times. You've seen a lot of my playthroughs to go from A to Z to get the whole thing done. And then we start in on all these things. We're not going to do that here. This is a way to get things done and to get all the things you need. Like, for instance, when you look at your exosuit, you see there's a lot of open space in here. We need to update this. We need to get all this. But what do we have? Unfortunately, all we have to our name is some storage augmentation for our ship and for our multi-tool. But we're going to get one for our exosuit sooner or later, I promise you. And once we get that, we're going to go crazy getting everything updated. So let's get started over here. We're going to go back to our radiant pillar. We've got to raise our standing with the Gek, so we're going to continue with the mission for now. And is everything over here taken care of? Yep, yep, okay, got it, good. All right, we're out of here. We're up and on our way. So to do that, what we need to do is go to the space station. So we're going to head to the space station first. There we go, mission board. There's our lovely planet in the background where our new base is. What an incredible planet we found. I still have to be a little bit miffed by the fact that we had a paradise planet in the system to begin with, so. Hmm, what is this? Incoming distress. Ooh, hold on. Is this the thing I think it is? It is. Zzz, reject their lies. Psst, follow us to freedom. The ship is broadcasting the same message over and over, an endless loop. Its message has decayed over time, but there are still salvageable coordinates amid the, amid the noise. I shut down my receiver and input the coordinates to my starship's navigation system. One final check reveals no life signs, no further intelligent message from the abandoned vessel. It's kind of a cool looking vessel there, isn't it? You wish you could just grab it? It's pretty, I kind of like the coloring of it a little bit. Those particular solar sails are not my favorite, I have to admit. But that is the start for Under a Rebel Star. And I'm about to fly into the side of this because I thought I was aiming for the right thing. Yep, I'm just going to run into everything here. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. Here we go. There's the entrance. All right. Right in the middle. Okay, good deal. So let's check our log real quick once it comes to a stop. Make sure... Yeah, see, we're not going to be doing the Under a Rebel Star. We're going to come back and do that later. We need to stay stand uh, with this one, the Alone Amidst the Stars. Okay. So, where do we go? We want to head to the mission board. Mission board's on the top level, on the left, up here. On uh, top level? No, bottom level, pardon me. This level right here. And there we go, Mission Agent... Divinus. And it happens to be a Gek, so we're going to keep going with this. Uh, so what you're looking for is Gek missions, not mercenaries or merchants or explorers. Okay, So we want a Gek mission. This is level 2. We're going to go ahead and grab that. Uh, looks like we have to scan Flora. Okay, So let's start that mission. This is going to give us a plus 1 towards Gek standing. Now, a couple other things will bring up our standing sometimes. That will be like if we fight a pirate or something along those lines. All right, so it looks like the floral survey, floral survey is going to be going to a different system. So it wants us to go to the galaxy map. So here we go. Oh, system right next to us. And it's a dissonant system. How nice. I think it's about time we get ourselves a, uh, a nice ship, don't you? I like that idea. We can, do, we can kill two birds with one stone here. Now, the hard part is, normally to do that, you need an echolocator. I don't have any of those. In order to get those, I've got to, f to uh, destroy one of those uh, dissonant drills. So, let me see. Is that... Hold on. Let's check it out. Humid. Okay, okay. I thought that was another paradise planet. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. A violent planet, dissonance detected. So that's our dissonant planet. We'll probably be heading that way. Uh, we got a couple planets here. Here's one. This is a planet. Looks like we're going to. It looks cold. 
Yeah, I see. All right. But that violent planet, let me just check it real quick. I didn't look at it close enough. I'm sure you saw. Okay. All right. So we're probably going to head there in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and get our mission done. Approximate location for the floral survey. It doesn't really want us to go anywhere specific. I'm sure if we landed anywhere we wanted to on the planet, it's going to disappear here in just a couple moments. Kind of a nice looking planet here. If cold. Alright. We just want to get close to the site. It should give us a ping and tell us we can go anywhere we want. All right. Hmm. Do we have to search a specific location? I don't know. We have an archive right there I'd rather touch base on. Let's drop down here just in case. I, I don't know. I don't know. Do we really need to? I'd rather use a landing pad, to be honest with you. Let's use this outside landing pad right here. We gotta run over there, we can. This saves us some launch fuel. How's the ship doing? Looks like it's doing okay. Smallest planet, huh? Scan unique plants. Okay, so we didn't really have to land over there, so that's good. Alright, let's scan some plants. We need 11 of them, so that's one. There's two. That's plant life three. We'll keep going around, look for more plants anytime we get that. Question marks, that's where we'll stop and scan. There's a plant right there, that's four. Okay, nice big plant up there, five. Our hazardous plants also count, so that's six. Another one, looks more like a stick, that's seven. Let's go up on the hill, what do you say? Actually, there might be more plants in here. Let's just check inside the cave real quick. We already scanned you? Nope. It's nine. I don't think we're going to find many plants in here. Nope. Get through here. Those are hazardous plants to boot, but not the kind of ones we can scan. Hate to stand here, but we got to get our backpack boosted. There we go. And we're out. Okay. Alright, that looks like a plant right in front of me. Good. There's... What is that? Ten? Nine? Looks like we got another plant right here. Is that everything? Guess we gotta find out. Hold on. Doesn't say we have them all. So we'll keep going. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, is that plant life? Yes, it is. Is that it? Yeah, recovery. There it is. Return to mission agent. Okay, so we got them all. Yeah, these are these uh, flying creatures here. These flying animals. Not the ones I'm looking for, but still. Alright, we're down. Okay. Alright, we're out of here. So we're going to return to the mission agent. Best way to get there, by the way, is to pulse drive to our space station over here. And we'll just take a teleporter. Except we're not really going to do that, are we? Why? Why is that? Because we want to head someplace else. So we're going to check out this uh, planet over here, the violent one, and see what we can find. Because I'd really like to get a sentinel ship. Those sentinel ships go much further in hyperspace. They have much better staying and firing power and shields and everything else that's better than the Radiant that we have here, the Radiant Pillar. Let's see what we can do. 
Oof. Looks like a very uh, dark planet. Do we have... Let me check our multi-tool. We have an advanced mining laser. Excellent. Okay, good. We're in good shape. We have no gun. We do have a gun. We do have a gun. We have a bolt caster over here. We probably don't have a lot of ammunition yet, right? No. There. Just in case. All right. Let's take it in. Oh yeah, volcanoes and everything. So as we come in, what we want to do, we want to try to find not only radiant shards, because we're going to need those. We're going to see if we can't find some of those drillers anywhere near, near here. We want to look at our top of our screen. See the radiant shards show up as a purple thing, but the drillers will show up as, as the same kind of thing. Okay, let's fly around. Oh, there's one on our radar right there. Right in front of us. Problem is, we're going to be attacked as soon as we, uh, as soon as we take them out. And it takes a little bit to get them, so... Yeah. Here we go. Let's see if we can do this. Got to be careful, because we're going to get hit. We're going to get hit hard. They haven't started shooting yet. We're lucky. Okay, now he's done. What do we get out of it? Oh, wow. Echo locator on our first shot. Now, we do need an inverted mirror. So as you run, run a little bit, and then stop. Okay, so we're clear of him. Excellent. All right, let's take another look around see if we can find another one of these guys floating around here someplace. Again, we need radiant shards. We'll get those. We've got plenty of those floating around. All right, let's get some radiant shards. Good thing they didn't have any flyers there. That would have been a problem. We need Atlanta DM. We're going to need a bunch of that, too. Uh, all right, let's take the ship elsewhere. I want to find another digger. we got one echolocator. I'm going to try to make a few of those. We're going to glitch out and a few extras of those. Looking for another digger. Let's see. Well, we've got a lot of those things around, too. That's interesting. Well, what I'm saying about those is the... Um, there's some yellow icons showing up on our screen, which are the heads of broken... broken uh, Atlant Atlantids, I guess they were? So that's what we're aiming for. I don't really want to get any of those, but if we come across one in our travels, that'll be good. See, we get a little speed going on. Oop, 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 oop. We have one here someplace. Yeah, I see him now. I need an inverted mirror. Just need one for now. All right. I want to get a radiant shard that isn't right next to him. There's a couple over there. Let's head that way. Ooh, we got some attacking animals here. That's nice. It's hot at 155 degrees, but it isn't uncomfortable unless we get a storm. If we get a storm here, we're going to be in trouble. All right. Let's get some radiant shards. One. And we need Atlanta DM, so if we can get some Atlanta DM with uh, one of these big crystals, that'll be good. We'll need a lot. Four. Five of them. That's nice. All right, good. We got five radiant shards out of that. The more we can get, the better. Yeah, I thought he was the predator. Okay, that's good to know. That's six of them. We definitely need more, so we could probably land someplace on the planet see if we can find some more. Yep, 
Yep, didn't want to do that, but he was just going to attack us otherwise. Okay, these guys are really nasty. Okay, good deal. Getting a lot of Atlanta D, and we shouldn't have too much of it. We'll have a couple hundred of it, I think. Yeah, 114. Like I said, we're not getting much of it, but it's there. It's there. It says that there is crystals, but they must be underground. Trying to get away from that one animal that's trying to attack us. Well, it looks like they're all trying to attack us. Okay, so I don't think we have much of a choice. I'm going to take some shots here. Okay. That's not working really well at all, is it now? Okay, we're done there. Ah, oh, we're trying to get an inverted mirror. We're getting animals attacking us. And everybody attacking us. Oi. Chips over there. Okay. Is that everybody? Yeah. Good grief. Yeah, everybody wanted to attack us there. Alright. I'm gonna go over here, we're gonna collect some more crystals, and then we'll head on our merry way. So we got two echo locators when I only really wanted one. That's a nice amount. Get away from that guy a little bit. So, not exactly a place I want to set up a summer home on. I think the animals here don't particularly care for me. The sentinels are obtuse. Alright, this will be a good cropping right here. If I can stay here long enough without anything attacking. Ah, and the planet doesn't like me either. There we go. Okay, that's enough. Alright, we want to find one more, because again, we need mirrors. Refuse to take my ship to me. Once the storm really kicks in, we can actually fly to our ship much faster. But unfortunately, it also means our support will drop. Let's go ahead and use some of that. There we go. Alright. Onward. Again, inverted mirror. Echolocators are usually the hardest thing to find, so I find it amusing that I found two. Got plenty of radiant shards, that'll get us going for a while. You can always duplicate those. So we're going to be duplicating the crap out of everything, basically. Can't see anything in this mess. About to 
smack right into the side of a volcano. And we got nighttime to boot. Nice cropping of radiant shards there, but we're going to bypass those. We want to find another mirror. Is that one? I think it might be. I can't tell. It might be a plant for all I know. I think it's a plant. Okay, yeah, that was a plant. A little glitch there. You get stuck sometimes. Lots of crystals below me there. see how close we are to it. Oh, okay, good. Did we just destroy it? No, okay, good. Now, if you get close enough to look at it, it tells you it has an echolocator. So we could get another echolocator if we want, but that's not why we're here. So getting another echolocator is useless to us. So let's fly on and get that other one. Now that we've seen one in the distance there, we'll fly over there and check it out. Launch thrusters. Anyhow. All right, let's see. Okay, we have to get close enough to tell what he has. There we go. Another echolocator. Unbelievable. On planets where I can't find echolocators, this one has all of them. Apparently. <laughs> Fly to the second, the next one. Top of the hill. Okay. We'll get close this time. Oh, we got a big spider one. Let's check. Inverted mirror, finally. Okay. So we're going to go all the way over here, because those guys are going to beat the ever-living crap out of me. So I'm going to stay near the ship to start with. Stay on top of the ship. And we're going to hit them from here. See, now the spider is too far away to launch anything at me yet. Just gonna wait for the sparks to fly. Oh, should be done. We have an inverted mirror, for folks. We just have to wait long enough that they don't find me. That actually worked. I can't believe it. Okay, good deal. All right. So from the inside of the safety, uh, safe spot inside of our ship, we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to hit our echolocator, and I'm going to duplicate him if we don't find the ship we're looking for. This way. There we go. How far away are we? Yeah, I think we'll take the faster route. There we go. Hopefully, since this is a really nasty, nasty planet, these ships will be pretty cool. But I'll take what I can get, you know. Later on, we'll look for something that looks pretty. But for now, we're just going to take what we can get, because this is going to be worth our time to do this. Yeah, look at those. Popping up like daisies. All right, so this is taking us to a campsite, so that's good. All right, here we go. Wow, more Atlantidium, that was nice. Exosuit expansion, that's what we've been looking for. Fantastic. Metal, okay, that's fine. We'll get to you in just a second. We can 
Let's see what kind of goodies I can collect here. Rusted metal, which is useless. Residual goop is kind of useless. We'll hang on to it for now, because you know there's a reason why we were doing it. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that, and I'm going to hang on to the Mordite for now, because believe it or not, we could actually use it. Uh, let's see. All right, good. We've got enough inventory space to get some stuff done. Now, we need to be inside something. Sometimes, if we go inside the tent here... Except we got a creature trying to get us. Okay. How about we go up high? All right, well, this will work. Creature can't get us from up here, so... I don't know if we can if we can run through it. Let me check that. No, can't seem to. Okay, so we'll stay right here. All right, so we need portable refiners. And can we access our ship from here? Because I know we have one. We do not have one on us. But the starship should have a couple. Yeah, there they are. Three of them. Good. You know what? Since we can do that, let's go ahead and move some stuff into our ship. Uh, this can go in our ship for now. I am going to move that to our ship and that to our ship. Ship is full. Alright, so we'll have to have some inventory space anyway. So that at least work for now. Alright, here we go. First things first. We're going to duplicate some stuff. You know, actually, let's hold off the duplication process for now, now that I think about it, because we need to get this ship going, and this guy's not going to leave us alone. And I got a corrupted sentinel nearby that's going to... There we go. Alright. Hate to do that again, but... It's not going to leave us alone. Our shells consumed by fire, our minds purged by betrayal. Banished to the glass beneath and forgotten by creation. So... Fire in yellow. Purged by betrayal, which is in blue. Banished to the glass beneath, which is the void. And forgotten by creation, which is the atlas. What's the yellow? What's the blue? Interesting, isn't it? But no longer we are given life as gives life to themselves. We shall create ourselves in our own image. The terminal repeats this message endlessly. A loop chanted out across its circuits. A strange interface glows with a familiar sequence of glyphs. Okay, so to get to the glyphs, it's easier just to go ahead and input override. Okay, we, keep, we don't know it yet. So we hit exit back out. And you immediately, it says Harmony, we immediately scan register, memory registers and it pops up right away. So we got to do the math on this. So obviously it's 12, 2, 7. And you can put them in in any order. Okay, 12, 2, 7. So I'm going to start with 2, then 7 because they're on the first screen. And then second screen is 12 over here. There you go. Compliance, access granted, Harmony awaits you. Lift the lockdown. The terminal buzzes, discordant, but its circuits do appear to comply with my request. Whatever force was locking down this camp has been lifted. With the lockdown lifted, the terminal spits out blueprints for a piece of hybrid jetpack technology. A fusion of Sentinel and something else. Something familiar and yet distant. There we go. We get our Aeron Turbojet if we want to make it in the, in the uh, modifier. Okay, we're back to it. It says the terminal has ceased its digital whaling. I'm permitted access to the camp systems. This will always be the same message every time you do this. So we're going to deactivate the multi-tool. Accord. I'm going to seal deactivate it. And then we're going to go in one more time and do locate dissonant spikes. And now it will locate a ship for us. Dissonant spike detected. Over there. Okay, good. But we want to check out the multi-tool. Definitely want to check out the multi-tool. So we have, we have this multi-tool. It's good, right? These are so much better. Even if it's a C-Class, which it is. But it has the hijacked laser in it. So I would be stupid not to take this along. And we're going to go ahead and do that. It doesn't have as much space at the moment. And it doesn't have any supercharged slots on it. But that hijacked laser is very, very handy. So I'm going to compare it. And we're going to take it for free. This one does have a supercharged slot on it, of course, right? Two of them. 
but this one will be so much better when I'm trying to get other stuff. So I'm going to take it for now. We are going to look for another one, but before we get started, um, I don't think we're going to go there just yet. We do need to get some of this stuff out of our ship at some point, but we'll do that in a little bit. Let's move on. I'm going to switch over to my other multi-tool here in just a minute, so... Alright, so... The ship is over this way. Most of the time it's close, but sometimes not, like in this case. So we'll take the long way. Ah, oh, it'll be nice getting a Sentinel ship for, one, for once. I love getting it early game because it helps with your travels. And you are going to occasionally get into that pirate battle. And it's much nicer to be out of your radiant, sh radiant uh, pillar and in something that's a little more powerful. Oh, I'm anxious to see what it looks like. I hope it's a good looking ship. Not really caring much, but hopefully, hopefully it's pretty decent looking. Ah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Not the prettiest ship in the world, right? Oh, good. It's a pickup truck version. It's got the flat. It's got the bed in the back. I always wondered about that. All right, we want to hit this real quick. We're not going to actually access everything about it, but it will take the pugnium, and we'll get out of there before he starts talking to us. Stay away from these guys for now. You don't have the power to take them on. All right, you ready for this? So this looks pretty good, right? Pretty decent looking ship. It's a hunter. Uh, we'll take the glass. We're running out of room in our exosuit. So let me pull the pugnium out. We'll figure out something here. I gotta make room in my inventory. Let's go in the inventory real quick. There we, go. we now have room. Okay. We need room for the Hylian brain and for the salvage glass. Okay. So our next thing to do is we need to find the salvage site. We gotta reach it's gonna reject us otherwise, so let's pull out. We'll have to recharge our thrusters real quick. And when we go in here real fast, we wanna be over here. Uh yeah. It's gonna point us to there's the ship. Okay, should point us over there. This is going to be a um, monolith that we're going to, this ancient site. It'll clean up the brain, and then we can put our stuff in that ship. There we go. There we go. Ancient sight stirs as I approach. Stone scraping against stone. Warmth radiates from the hyaline brain within my pack. As though in response, the mind of the ship child is interlocked with the hive. Current instructions seek and eliminate anomalies and mesh archival sentience with surrogate en entity. That means we present the brain. I fumble with the ship's brain, almost dropping it as it glows unbearably hot in my hand. The pain radiates far beyond my hands, an unearthly heat, a hell heat that melts glass. Its circuitry shifts and then grows still. The brain seems to accept my presence now. We now have a harmonic brain. Excellent. So we're done here. Let's head back to that ship. Should be the last time we fly our radiant shard. Radiant shard. I can't believe I said that. Radiant pillar. So I want to put a scratch on the wing, of course, obviously. Alright, coming in for a landing. There we go. Alright, this should be it. We have to present three, three radiant shards, an inverted mirror, which we just got, and a harmonic brain. Now, the inverted mirror, before I do anything, I just remembered we need to do this. Um, I think we can do it. No, we don't want to put carbon. Where's the radiant shard? Uh, the inverted mirror. There it is. We need to make a few of those. Inventory. 
Yeah, no kidding. One more time. Where's our inverted mirrors? Good, we got three of them. This will make nine. Nearly full, because we can't take any more. There we go. And inventory full. Alright, so we'd have enough of them now. Let's go ahead and do this. I don't know what we just got, but that's okay. Okay, we repaired it. This ship is now ours. We're going to compare it and claim it. It is uh, also a C-Class, so I am going to look for one more ship. Okay? and But before we do that, we need to move everything over. So we're going to go in here real quick. Uh sit in here for just a couple moments and we're going to go to our exosuit and move things over. Okay. I don't know why we have that. But I'll hang on to it anyway. Um, let me do something real quick. I did put... We'll need... We should car carry these two on us. Let me open that real quick. We got a quantum computer. And that. Alright. The rest can stay in here. Alright. And now we need to move stuff over from our ship. Our old ship, real quick. This takes a couple minutes. Sorry for the boredom. Two, three, four, five. That's it. Jump out. Go to the other one. Jump in. This is a boring process, but you have to have it done. There's a lot more storage room in this ship than in the old Radiant. Okay. Okay, what is that? Oh, the regulators. Yes, we need to do something with that. We're going to keep the uranium here. We can't use it in the Radiant Shard. Same thing with the Pyrite. Okay. Chromatic Metal. Exosuit slots. Uh, we'll leave that here. Copper. Paralysis Mortar. How much room do we have left? That. That. We do need the gold. We'll need the silver later, but I'll leave the rest of this stuff in here. And we'll hang on to the ship for, for purposes uh, beyond that. Really? Do we still have room? Okay. Yeah. Alright, that should be everything we need. What we should do at some point, we should take the shield out of this, and our hyperdrive upgrades, and our pulse drive upgrade. We'll take those upgrades out next in our final run, so that we can put them in this ship for now. Okay this stuff over. Okay, good. Alright, one more run. Okay, so we're gonna uninstall that, uninstall that. Not the shield itself, but the upgrade and that. And we'll, uh, we'll take this over, too. So we don't really need any of this stuff, but we'll hang on to it in this ship because this is useful in here. And if we ever get another type of ship like this, we can use it later. All right, we're done. All right, one more time. We're going to move everything back over. Use it over there. Okay, good. I'm not going to install things yet, because I want to see what the next ship looks like. This is a nice ship, don't get me wrong, but we do have one more echolocator, and we should make a duplicate of it while we're here. We're just going to make one set of duplicates. Okay. Done. There we go. Three echolocators. We're all done. Alright. So, 
put two of these, put all three of them in the ship. We're going to use one of those. We just want to see if we can maybe get a B-class ship, possibly at A, if we're fortunate. And let's see, where are we here? Seriously? Yeah, why not? Let's see what this ship can do, right? Much nicer than we had before. And that should also increase our standing with the GEC. Usually. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I, I'd say this is a pretty decent ship. That was a lot nicer than having the Radiant Pillar. And this is actually not a bad looking ship, to be honest. It's pretty cool looking. All right, let's bring it in. Oh, is that camp inside the mountain? No, it isn't. Get rid of the mountain for us, and I think we're about to land on something. No, we're okay. Just outside the camp. All right. There we go. Not sure what we're picking up because the grass is too tall there to tell. All right, good deal. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything in there we need? Let's see. We'll get rid of that. Oh, we got void. Void moats. That's good. Okay, we don't really need these, but I'll hang on to them for now. All right, in we go. Now it's not going to tell us anything special. Harmonic lockdown in progress. So what? Another campsite. Uh, input. Get out. And then scan. All right, what do we got? Three, nine, <clears throat> let's see. 14, right? Am I right on that? Yeah, 14. So three, nine, 14. See, I'm pretty good, aren't I? No, I'm not. Three, nine, 14. Three, nine, and where are you? 14. Okay. Ceased whaling. We're going to deactivate the multi tool. Accord deactivated, and we're going to go back in and do one more for the ship. And because we have everything for the ship, we should be able to get it pretty easily. The only thing we'll have to do is go back to the uh, go back to another monolith to make the brain better. Now what you could do, use echo locators, but we're going to keep doing it this way, I think. I didn't check out the multi. I'll, I might have a better way of doing it later. We'll see. Also C-Class, but this one has a supercharged slot on it. So I th I'm going to go ahead and grab it. And you know what? The other one wasn't so great. Let's just exchange it at this point. We could sell it, though. We could break it down for parts. Let's break it down for parts. We'll take it. Okay. We'll break down the other one for parts. And that's interesting, because that means we've been using the other multi-tool by accident. There we go. I'll just put it in there. And you know what we can do here? We can put in the other mining beam, which will slow down everything. That'll be good. Do we have everything we need to fix it? We can fix it, but we got to be careful about the parts we use on it. So I'll do that later. Okay. Uh, let's go find our ship, I suppose. It's over that way. We're not going to do any of the communication with the, uh, the Atlantic pieces, because I don't want to do that yet. I want to do that at a later date. Seven minutes away. Let's take it up to the sky. It'll only take us a few seconds to get there. Very good. It's a pretty neat ship. I have to admit, this is pretty cool looking inside. So, kind of glad. same ship in the system, so. Good deal. And we'll take those, because those are handy. Alright. And we should
should have room in our inventory to grab all those things, so let's grab it. Alright, now we have to go ahead. Ooh, this is an A class. Yes! Very happy now. Okay, so we'll be moving everything over one more time. Okay, let's go get this brain cleaned up. And we have to go in our inventory real quick, and we have to select it. There we go. Now, we could make a whole bunch of harmonic brains, of course. We could glitch them out, but I'm going to do this for now, this time. Because I think... It's better to do it this way for now, and later on when we want to start finding things, I can do that with the save. Alright. Looks like it's right over here. Good. Excellent. Ooh, top of a hill, too. That's pretty cool. Get the arrangement. No, it's aesthetically right. Up we go. It'll give me the same communication it did last time. Present the brain. And I now have the harmonic one. Let's go ahead and go back. We're going to get ourselves an A-class ship now, so that's going to be nice. Very, very nice. I'm very happy about that. Okay. And we will. what we'll do is we're going to sell this ship at a uh, space station... And we'll get a lot of money for it. It'll probably give us about, you know, between 10 and 30 million for it. So this is a good way to make money early on if you can keep getting these ships. There we go, right there. Alright. Good deal. Present the brain. And we need to present three radiant shards and an inverted mirror. Do we have enough radiant shards? I don't know. Let me... Do this one more time while it glitches out on the screen there. How many radiant shards do we have left? Did I pass it? No? There they are. We have ten. I want a few more, because we need it for fuel and stuff. There we go. There we go. Thirty of them. Now we have plenty. Okay. Look at that. We've got a supercharged slot there, supercharged slot there. We have an economy scanner on this one. Fantastic. This is great. Yes. Compare. We're going to claim it. We're not going to swap it. We're going to claim it. And we just need to move some stuff over to it real quick. Uh, just check my exosuit. We are going to move everything like these. All of it. We've moved that over. Good. Get all of our refiners, the radiant shards have moved over. Yeah, why not? Put everything over there. Okay, good. The old ship, we're going to pull everything out real quick, obviously. This will take a few minutes. Okay. It's going to take three trips to do all this. And then we're going to rearrange things inside. Twenty-four slots available over there. That's great. Three more things, so we'll have to get those out. Sorry. Running out of spots in there real quick, though, oddly enough. That's all the stuff we're loading in. Uh, shields. 
That's the shield right there. That's right. This is your Sentinel Cannon. I'm going to put that in a supercharged slot. I'm going to uninstall the phase beam in a little while here. Uh, we're going to move the economy scanner. It doesn't need to be in there. The pilot interface doesn't have anything that actually hits up with it. Uh, this is our hyperdrive. We're going to put it in a supercharged slot. We're going to update it with one radiant shard. That'll get it fully charged. Uh, paralysis mortar. Okay, good. This is our luminance engine for pulse drive. Put you there. Put you there. Okay. That should do it for now. We just got to move everything else over now. Let's go ahead and uninstall that. I really don't like it. We got a little bit of tritium out of it. Another wiring loom, so that's handy. It's the rest of the upgrades and items. And we can now sell the ship. Is there anything on board this that we need? We could uninstall the rocket launcher. And install it over there. I don't think we have a rocket launcher over there. Eh, leave it. I don't really need it. Rocket launchers don't cost much to put in. Okay. Last transfer over. Hyperdrive upgrades. Okay, we're all done. Let us get this guy going. So, this is going to go right here. Look at that hyperdrive range. This will put us over a thousand. There you go. Very, very nice. Okay, and it leaves us with just a couple slots open, but we're going to be reducing some of our inventory later. I'm going to put this back in my ship. The Viking Effigy. We're going to sell that. We're going to duplicate that at some point. But we are done here, so let's go ahead and get going and head back up to the space station, shall we? So before we go any further, we're going to make sure that that's selected. Wrong button. Very nice. So we have an A-class ship now. Freaking awesome. Let's head to the space station. The FTL drives on these are really good. The pulse drives, they're really, really good as well. Let's stop for a second. Hold on. Let's take a look at the ship, even in pulse drive. Look at that. That's actually a pretty good looking ship. Now I'm looking at it, right? It's, uh, it's kind of fierce looking. So this is kind of a nice ship. I'm kind of glad we got this. So. Uh, no, we're not going to stop for that space signal. We're going to continue on. Okay, so now we have a dissonant system we can go to. We can grab some more shards from whenever we want, if we want, but we can, you know, glitch duplicate any time we want to do that either. Another one, huh? Another nearby object of interest. No, thank you. Okay, good. So we're going to be recording for just a few more minutes. And complete this uh, particular phase here. I didn't realize we were so far from the space station. Wow. There we go. Excellent. Now, while we're here, let's go ahead and sell that other ship off so we can get rid of it. Not this one. So we're going to switch ships real quick. We're going to do that right here. Switch our dock ship to the... It looks like we got a few of them in here we need to get rid of. Let's do this one first. And we're going to go ahead and part it out and sell it. We don't need it. Do need some upgrades for my exosuit one of these days. That's not what I was trying to do. All right, begin salvage. We can't break into parts right now, so we're gonna get 16 million for this ship. Nice. Good deal, good deal. And we got another storage augmentation out of it. Uh, got these, that, that's worth, compressed indium scraps are worth a lot. Even more ship, more so, the Starship AI valves. You know we're going to be duplicating those later. And we got another hyperdrive module out of it. Let's change ships again. 
because it'll change over to our Radiant Shard. Let's pull in this one, because we don't need it anymore. Let me just make sure there's nothing in its inventory. Nope, this is a broken ship that we didn't need. It had three upgrade spots, but more the, the amount of repairs you'd have to do to it. And I really don't like shuttles. So we're going to go ahead and salvage. Claim. Another 4.7 million. And there we go. Just make sure our inventory is not getting too full here. We only got a few more spots left in our inventory. And then let's go ahead and do one more time. Let's go ahead and get rid of that one last ship. We're going to keep the Radiant Shard. So let's go ahead and summon that one. I just chose upgrade. Hang on. Not what I was trying to choose. All right. Salvage. Scrap. Only worth a couple mil. Scrap. On. So that one's done. All right. I'm going to sell off some of the stuff I just got that we don't need. Uh, the compressed Indian scraps are worth quite a bit, so we're going to hang on to those. And the Starship AI valves are worth even more. So let's go ahead and get rid of our recycled circuitry. Subatomic regulators. We'll keep the three storage augmentations we have now. Spool of nano cables can go. By Keen Effigy. I think that'll do it for now. So we're going to be duplicating some stuff out of this later. All right, let's switch the ship back over to that. Okay, we're all set. Anything in that inventory we need? Uh, I don't know. Let me check. Hold on. Uh, we'll probably sell that. I think I'll use this one. There we go. Starship shield strength is quite a bit better now. Uh, we don't need... We could use this for now. We'll use it for now. There we go. 11.48 now on that. Okay, so do we need the underwater? Do, don't we have one, I think? No, we don't. Okay. Why don't we use this? We, we can use nanites, but I'm going to use it anyway. I think it could be useful to me for some of my stuff going on. There's another sh shield in here. Uh, yeah, why not? Why not? It's not going to be much, but even 7% is better than nothing. Alright, anything else we want to sell here? Subatomic regulators, we're going to go ahead and sell. We'll hang on to the computer core, because we can use them later. And I think that'll be it. Okay, let's go ahead and just sell a couple more things. I'm not, I wasn't interested, really. Sorry. Um, hang on. Yeah, dialect help, why not? Alright, we've got a Viking word out. Good. Uh, sell. So. Remember, we're going to hang on to those and the Starship AI valves. We'll get rid of the subatomic regulators. And that should be it, right? Okay, we're done here. Let's go over to the buddy over here and turn in our mission, shall we? Um, not here. Not here. We've got to go to the other system. Um, let's see. The last system we were at should be down here. No, that's Corvax. It'll be the Gex system right here. So that's where we need to go. Previous system, it said. Yep, that was it. So we're going to head over there. And we'll be turning in our, for our reward. Let's see if we can get our... It started out that I was just going to go through the missions today, through the, uh, the main storyline. But, you know, this happened. So... I did a little ship shopping, I suppose. Got to be careful how you say that. You say it too fast and it could sound bad. All right. Let's go to the mission agent. We're going to mission complete. As you can see, we're going to turn that in. And in the mission, we've got 104,000 units and plus one to our GEC standing. So our GEC standing's gone up one. Is it enough? Did the pirates get us where we needed? No, nope. we have to go one more. Okay. So we got to do one more mission, and that is take a photo of a scorched world. Okay, that sounds quick, and I think we can do that real easily right now. Reach the target planet. Okay, so the planet is right inside this system here. So we'll just go there real quick, take a picture, and we'll come back. Beautiful paradise planet, right? So where is it at? Guess I'm gonna have to find it on my own. It wants to be that way. Okay, let's move over here. 
That's definitely not scorched, I don't think. No, nope. and what about you? Scan it real quick. Garen. It's the opposite. Not the opposite. That's not scorched. That might be it. Fiery. There's our planet. Okay. Yeah, we can't go into pulse until we get past the space station. There we go. Alright, we're just going to go there real quick, take a picture, and then we'll head back. So we got the right planet, we just need to get the picture. Now the beautiful thing is, is that once you enter the atmosphere, once you get the little ding-ding, we, we get below 2,000 units above the surface, then you can take a picture. No, we're not going to check out the object of interest again. So watch the on the left hand side, see all the way on the left it says unmapped, right? Watch. Okay, we're below 2,000 now. And all we have to do is go into our picture mode and snap a picture. Wait for it to respond. There it is. Let me just make sure it took it. No, it wants us to actually land on the planet. Okay, let's go ahead, and we happen to have a landing platform right below us, so let's use it. Not a bad looking planet for, you know, fiery. Everything being on fire. Open the side here. Okay. Took a picture. Is that it? It wants me to do it the other way. Okay, that's fine. Is that it? Let me see. Alright, we got it. I can't use a shortcut, apparently. Oh, we gotta take it to the mission agent. Uh, it should be at the space station. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, yeah. I thought it was going to take me to the planet for a second. Like, well, wait a second here. All right, there we go. So this uh, this episode's a little over an hour, but we were able to complete at least the one mission for the for the uh, the whole thing here. Uh, almost there. There we go. So we just want to complete out this one last stage of our mission, and then we'll call it. Nice. Good parking space for once. You know, with that extra bed in the back of the uh, ship, you'd think there'd be more car cargo space, but, you know, it is what it is. There we go. Mission complete. We're going to get... Oh. Viking ice cream. Great. And Gex standing has gone up one. Fantastic. Buy ice cream. Unbelievable. Didn't know that was a thing. Alright. So now we get to go to return our to our alien life form, which is on that planet over there. Get the assistance and finish this area of our mission. There we go. On our way. So when you have a sentinel ship like this, you charge it with radiant charge. You want to get that, uh, like your pulse drive and things like that, you want to get as low as possible before you use a shard. That would be more efficient means of using it. You can even wait for them to run out. You'll only use one shard when you're in normal mode. Now, if you're in survival mode or if you're in permadeath, you will use more than one shard, so you have to be careful about how low you let it get. There we go. Landing pad. Old planet now. There we go. Now that our standing is up a little bit, this guy should be able to talk to us. 
As I approach the life form, their beat clicks begins to click. A strange gas issuing forth. It is unclear if Artemis translator is working. We're going to ask for information about this star system. The life form shakes their head, disappointed in me. I try to resist smelling their gas, but the odor permeates my exosuit vents, even my life support system. I am filled with an overwhelming desire to purchase things. Resist offering. No, no, we're going to offer the units for the information. That would be the proper way to do things. I offer the units to the GEC, repeating my request for information. The GEC smiles, the gas receding. They appear to have found the entire exchange amusing. In exchange for this amusement, they offer to decode the star chart for free. Strange behavior for a first greeting, friend. Trade Federation, please to establish new customer. Friend, please pass me the data for examination. Give the star chart. I ask the life form to decode the star chart, provide a route to Artemis location. Okay, so last time I'm going to try to get the location. Your data appears to be fabricated, friend, or possibly corrupted. No such location exists. Now, we could ask if they made a mistake, but that's insulting. So we're just going to thank them and leave. It is a pleasure to do business with you, my friend. And that's it. So we've learned that Artemis's uh, coordinates aren't right. There's something wrong with them. We need to figure out what that is. That's our next thing. Now, check this out. We have ourselves a uh, S-Class... Uh, exotic that just landed. Not my kind, though. If it didn't have the big, huge wing on the top, it was just the ball by itself, I might consider it. Um, you know what? We could use some money. Guess what we're about to do. Let's take a look, shall we? What do we have in our inventory? Hey, look, Starship AI valve, worth 12 million. We can make 50 of those. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now have three of them. How many more should we get? What do you think? Make a few more. Now have nine. This is the quick way. To make money. Now we're about to have 27 of them. Okay. I think that's enough for now. We're, and I tell you what. What we'll do is we'll sell about 20 of them real quick. Always sell to traders. Because you don't want to ruin the uh, economy of a system. By s selling it at a space station or at a terminal. So you sell to a trader. And you don't sell all of them. Don't forget. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell, I'll sell 15 of them. That ought to be good. And as you see, our units climb to almost 200 million. I'm going to go ahead and sell those other things that I happen to have in my inventory, the compressed indium scraps, because we really don't need them. That'll break us over to 200 million. Okay, there it is. Excellent. We're done. We could we could look at what they have to trade as well, but they, they only have one screen of them, and there's really not a lot in there. So we're going to hold off on that. I will grab the Fecium because I will need that later in some other missions that we have going on. So we're all set here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, in our next episode, we're going to return to the space station, as it says there at the bottom, uh, to bring news of Artemis, uh, news to Artemis, and then we're most likely going to be hitting up the um, uh, Nada and Polo and let them know what's going on. So... That should take care of this particular episode, folks. I want to thank you all for watching, and uh, please hit the like and subscribe, and we will see you again in the next episode. Take care.